Hey, hi, how are you? Hello, uh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm also fine. Thank you. So I got your profile for evaluation and I'm going to evaluate you based on your Java coding skill. Okay. So I have provided you an array. Uh, can you copy it? Uh, yes. So let me check in the study. I have gotten it. Uh, I'll copy it in Eclipse. All right. Yeah, I've copied it in Eclipse. Now, uh, you can see uh, this array contains even numbers as well as odd numbers. What you have to do is you have to bring all the even numbers before odd numbers. So your array should start filling even numbers first and later then you should put odd numbers towards the end of the array. All right. Okay. So in this case, I can see it's one, two, or oh, five. So yeah, my array should uh, be uh, two should come first, uh, then four. Uh, then seven, uh, then eight, uh, and then twenty. After that, uh, odd number should start filling. For example, one, uh, five, uh, seven, and eleven. Correct. Yes, correct. All right. So uh, let me uh, try to implement this uh, scenario. I'm going to write a method which is going to be my uh, public. It is going to be a static method. All right. Um, T A T I C and this is going to uh, return void because I need to print the array and I'm going to name this uh, method as array even uh, and odd. Okay, so array even and uh, odd and this is going to accept uh, one integer array. So it is integer ARR uh, and I'm going to accept it as a uh, parameter. So the responsibility of this method will be uh, to accept an array and uh, to bring all the even numbers first and then to bring all the odd numbers. So let's try to uh, implement this uh, logic. For implementing this logic, I am going to uh, create one more integer uh, array. So to create that integer array, I'm going to declare uh, one array and the length of this array will be same as the input array. So this is going to be an array where I'm going to process all the elements. So new integer, um, array and the length is going to be ARR dot length. All right. So I have created one array. Now I'm going to uh, iterate over uh, the input array. So let's try to uh, write that logic uh, input integer i equal to uh, zero or uh, i is uh, less than ARR dot length. Uh, I'm I'm iterating through this ARR array. So ARR dot length and I plus plus. Okay. So this is my for loop, which uh, I'm going to use to iterate. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the element from ARR and uh, check if it is even number or odd number. So the first condition is for even. So I'm going to use this loop for even numbers. So if ARR of uh, i is my element uh, mod so mod 2 so if i do mod and the resultant answer is uh, 0 that that specifies this is an um, even number so in that case i am going to add arr of i uh, into my uh, processing array which is a so let me add this um, to a and for this uh, i am going to use uh, one more one more uh, counter known as index. So integer uh, index equal to uh, zero. And whenever I add an element to this uh, A, I'm going to increment the index. So let me add uh, to the zeroth position, A of index uh, is equal to ARR of uh, I. So here in short, what I'm doing, I'm just checking uh, the array and checking the element of the array. Uh, if it is uh, uh, divisible by two, that means it is uh, even number and I'm adding it to the uh, resultant uh, resultant array. So after doing this, I'm going to uh, increment the index because whenever I add the next element, it should go to uh, the next position in the array. Okay, so this uh, I'm done for the uh, even number. So this will this logic will place all the even numbers uh, in the resultant array. Now I have to um, fill all the odd numbers. So for that, I'm going to copy my for loop. So let me copy my uh, for loop. Before that, I'm going to add comment or uh, add all the even 
numbers to resultant uh, array. Similarly, uh, I'm going to use this for loop for adding all the odd numbers to the resultant array. I'm going to perform the same operation and I'm going to uh, reverse the condition. So resultant, all the odd numbers. Okay, so I'm going to copy the if, uh, if condition and uh, instead of uh, equal to equal to zero, I'm going to make it not equal to zero because whenever you divide your number by two and the output, the remainder is not zero, it means it is your odd number. So I'm going to perform similar thing where I'm going to add uh, uh, the element uh, to my resultant array, uh, ARR of uh, I, and I'm going to do index uh, plus plus. Okay, so this uh, this will add all the odd numbers after the even numbers. So first we are adding all the even numbers to the array, and then we are adding all the odd numbers to the array. So uh, this, uh, adding even an odd number is done. Now the next step is to print the array. So I'm going to print uh, for integer i equal to zero. And this time we are going to print uh, the resultant array where we have uh, where we have done the processing. So integer i equal to zero, mm, i is less than a dot length because a is the array where we placed all the even number first and then the odd numbers and i uh, plus plus. And my duty is just to sys out uh, system dot out dot uh, print, and I'm going to print uh, a of i. So this is where I have uh, printed all the elements of i. Uh, let me call this method from uh, from the main method array even and odd, and I'm going to pass arr one to this method. All right. So I think my logic is uh, ready, where I have added all the even number first, and then the odd numbers. And finally, I have printed uh, all the numbers from the resultant array. May I uh, run this program? Yes, I can run it. Okay, so let me run this program. Run as your Java application. Okay, now you can see uh, 2, 4, 8, and 20 uh, are added uh, first, and then 1, 5, uh, 7, and 11. So these are the elements. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, for for making it more clear, I'm going to add or append comma to this. So let's try to run this one more time. Yeah, you can see two, four, eight, and twenty. Uh, then you have one, five, seven, and eleven. So even number first, and then the odd numbers at the end. Okay, uh, it is giving the expected results. So that's it from my side. Do you have any question? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.